We're starting our day out with some light rain and some foggy conditions, but temperature-wise, not too bad. 42 degrees, a lighter wind out of the south, so it feels like 39, dew point at 41, and humidity 96%. And so it's a little bit high, but we do have shower activity through the area. As I mentioned, we have some fog, low visibility in some areas. You could come across some patchy fog, especially around Van Wert, two and a half miles down in Wapak, one and a half miles, three in uh, Defiance, about eight mile visibility here in Allen County. So fog and some light shower activity moving through the area. So as you plan your day, light rain this morning around 9 o'clock, about 42 degrees by noon. Cloudy skies, 44. We expect a high today about 45, 46 degrees. We'll see that with cloudy skies around 3 o'clock. The Almanac, you can see how we're above normal still. 34 for the average high and 20 the average low. So we still have the warmer air and the milder temperatures in our forecast. So looking at the big picture here, counterclockwise action, you can see that here. So so we've got a low here around uh, the Great Lakes and a low up in the New England area. Those are slow moving systems, bringing lots of moisture and the chance of showers in our forecast. So that's what we're dealing with the next couple of days. As we look at our radar and the winds, light winds right now, mainly out of the west to northwest and just light shower activity throughout a good portion, some spotty showers through our area throughout uh, Ottawa and down into Putnam County and Allen County. Van Wert seeing some shower activity, Mercer County. So you need the raincoat and umbrella this morning spotty showers moving throughout the day. They'll begin to move out though and we'll begin to see cloudy skies. Not a lot of sunshine in this forecast for the next couple of days but it does return later in the forecast. Low right here around the Great Lakes and the low moving up towards the New England area with a trough. So these disturbances moving through that's why we have the chance of some shower activity. Lots of moisture in the air. It'll move uh, slowly for tomorrow so still cloudy skies. Some breaks in the clouds here and there and the chance of some showers. Maybe even a few flurries but don't get excited if you're a snow lover. Not a lot of uh, snow in this forecast. High pressure is building in. It's going to bring some sunshine and drier weather as we move into the weekend. So let's look at Skycast. We've got some showers early this morning, spotty throughout the area. Then we do get a break lunchtime and throughout much of the day. Then overnight Friday, we could see a little bit of shower activity. It looks like in the eastern part of the viewing area throughout uh, Hardin and Logan County into Hancock County. A few spotty showers possible on Friday, but really overnight then uh, some a uh, line of a little bit of scattered show snow showers as we move in overnight. But then Saturday, we begin to see the drying and the dry weather moving in. So 46 today, areas of fog and morning showers, otherwise cloudy skies. Tonight, 33 the low, mostly cloudy skies. Slight chance of some rain or snow early in the evening. Tomorrow, a high 40, mostly cloudy skies, maybe a little bit of rain or snow in the afternoon and early evening, but that's just some spotty activity. But as we look to the seven day extended forecast, we begin to see more sunshine and we do dry out. Temperatures for this period still above normal, but not too bad. New Year's Eve, we're gonna see mostly cloudy skies and a high 40. New Year's Day, start out the new year with a high of 36 with partly cloudy skies. And I said lots of sunshine in that forecast, so we do dry out after a couple of days. Yep, so bundle up for New Year's celebrations. Yeah, I guess so, a little yeah, bit quiet. So I always cold. like to watch the tractor, lit up tractor come down the middle of town in Spencerville. Thousands of people come by and watch it. Well, we should have more people do that. I'm just kidding. <laughs> that doesn't happen. You better start working on that now. You already mentioned. Tractor coming down. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, coming up in consumer news, IKEA is warning of product delays because of the shipping problems in the Red Sea. And we'll look back at the top.